Hello friends, Intuitive Renee here, bringing you Friday Pick a Card to get some hopefully awesome messages and readings and guidance for your life right now and today. So our theme today is spring cleaning. <laughs> we have here in the Southern Hemisphere, for us in South Africa or anywhere in the Southern Hemisphere actually, we have um, shifted and moving into the season of spring. And of course, I had to take that opportunity to do some energy spring cleaning. So I have chosen some awesome decks to work with today, and I'm very excited to work with a new deck that I got in this week, which is the Meraki Tarot. And I have paired it up with a Sacred Forest or Oracle by Denise Lynn, and also the Secret Garden Oracle across the bottom here. So we've got three decks that we're working with today, Meraki Tarot, Secret Forest, or sorry, Sacred Forest Oracle and Secret Garden Oracle across the bottom. And I have got a whole lot of questions um, inspired by Spirit that are going to help us to energetically do a spring clean. So if this is the first time that you are doing a pick a card with me, welcome. Basically, all you have to do is decide between bundle one, bundle two or bundle three which of these they they all are going to have the same quantity of cards they all we're going to have the same questions that we're asking but obviously the reading will be completely different for each one of them so you just at this point have to clear your heart clear your mind just ground yourself center and connect with mother gaia and ask yourself which of these bundles seems to be calling you in which of these seems to be the one that you're drawn to attracted to in any way, if you want to use a pendulum, if you want to use the timestamps, however you want to choose your bundles, um, yeah, just please connect and let you let yourself be guided to the exact message that you need. And then once you know which one you're going for, there are timestamps below to help you. So if you've chosen bundle two or bundle three, you don't have to sit through bundle one's message to get to the one. You can jump straight to that portion of the video to get your reading that you need. And this is a timeless video. So even though it is entitled Spring Cleaning, um, I don't know about you, but I tend to spring clean throughout the year. It's not just something that I say for the month of September for us in the Southern Hemisphere. So at any time that this video comes across your screen, just know that the Spirit's way of guiding you to do some spring cleaning in your life. And I do hope that you find this video and your reading valid and appropriate and applicable and helpful in your life. All I ask is that you subscribe to the channel. So click the subscribe button down here. And then once you've done that, click the little bell next to it so that you receive notifications of all my content. So as you can see in the little tickler comment across the top of the screen, I have videos that come out seven days a week at 8 a.m. giving you daily guidance using um, Tarot Sundays. We do Oracle Sundays. And every Friday, <laughs> we have named it, renamed it. Every Friday, we do a pick a card. Um, and the last Friday of the month, you get your telescopes for the month ahead. So friends, I'm going to stop babbling <laughs> and we're going to get straight into your reading, starting with bundle one, moving on to bundle two and three. If you do enjoy your, your reading, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a comment below would be fabulous. Welcome to those of you who chose bundle one as the bundle that has the reading, the message, the guidance, and the inspiration that you need in your life today. Welcome. So as you can see, I have laid out all the cards that we're going to be working with today. Um, I have got a whole lot of questions written out. We're going to start off with an oracle, and this is the Secret Garden Oracle which is going to give us our, let's call it our theme for the reading. And then we've got specific questions to ask and another Oracle card to draw as well. So we are doing a little bit of energetic spring cleaning. <laughs> and um, I think I've chosen really awesome decks to work with that are going to give us beautiful readings. Let's get straight into it for all bundle one. What is it that you need to know? So the first card we're looking at is going to be this one here from the secret garden and the question we're asking or what we're looking for here is what is the energy of spring for you okay we're going into the spring season what is the energy for spring for you now let's have a look and turn the card over you have got the card that says to you be present 
use the hours don't count them you know what i could i could actually that is just so amazing because don't we all count our hours like oh i've got two hours before this and i've got eight hours to work and i'm only going to sleep for six hours and you know i haven't eaten in two hours and i need to go here in this amount of time we're constantly counting the hours aren't we but here it's telling you for the month of spring the intention or the energy for the month of spring for all of you is to actually be present and to actually use the hours don't count them i actually think that is such an awesome awesome message so that is going to be our theme for all of your reading today for everything that we're going to be covering and i do think this is something that i almost want to encourage you to write it down somewhere put it in your diary stick it on your dashboard in your car put it on the fridge put it on the mirror in your bedroom or your bathroom so that you see it as often as you can during the month or during the season of spring because it's about using the hours and not counting them i love that i really do i think that's amazing Let's have a look and see what needs decluttering in your life at the moment. So as we go into spring and as we start doing some spring cleaning, what needs decluttering in your life? Oh, that is very interesting. We have got the card of the devil. And that is, you know what, it, it all makes sense. And I know I say this quite a lot in my videos, but I can't make this stuff up. When it comes to using the hours and not counting them, we all, as humans, we actually become quite obsessed about that. We come, become so focused. And so full of intention of I have to work so many hours and I have to exercise so many hours and I can only eat every every so many hours. And it's been so much time since I've done that, seen that, said that, experienced that. We're so focused on time. And that is exactly what the devil card is about, what the devil card in tarot depicts. It's about being so focused and so obsessed on something that maybe we shouldn't be focused and obsessed about. So here we have a Tasmanian devil who is obviously focused on catching a bird and on that particular bird. It's like that one. There are so many around. There is an abundance of them, but I only want that one. And maybe we're missing other opportunities because we're so focused on one we're missing the opportunities that are there so what needs decluttering in your life now during spring and the spring cleaning it's about opening your field of vision okay use the hours not only focusing on counting them it's about opening and expanding your field of vision to make sure that you're seeing all the opportunities that are around you and not just the one little bird in the corner here that is what needs decluttering. You need to open yourself up. We're going to have a look and see what is hidden and needs to come out during the spring season. Let's have a look. So what is hidden in your life and needs to come out? We have got the King of Wands. Again, this is making so much sense. Being present, using the hours and not just counting them. King of Wands is about action, activity, focused. King of Wands, he's all about the doing. He's all about the strategic planning or plan. But he's not about creating the plan. That's already being done. What he's now doing is the action. He's following through with it. So it's about the using the hours and not just planning, counting and strategizing. But again, it's about getting, it's about catching that bird. It's about taking the advantage, grabbing the opportunity as it presents itself, um, taking that. And this is what, what you are probably, the, the question we asked here is what is hidden and needs to come out. And you're probably so focused on just that one bird and so focused on the multitude of things that you need to do and the multitude of things that are happening around you that you're not actually getting down to doing anything. Okay, so King of Wands is telling you, be more assertive. Be more in control. Be more proactive. I think that's going to be a good word. Be more proactive in yourself, in your activities, in what you are, who you are, what you do, etc. And don't just focus on the one thing all that time. So, as you know, with my readings, I'm all about the positive. I'm all about the inspiration. I'm all about the the inspiring okay so we've looked at i'm going to call it the two problem areas <laughs> which means we're going to look at two positive areas because that's how it works it's all about balance so we've highlighted challenges we've highlighted we've got a theme we've highlighted the challenges now let's highlight the positives that are coming through for you so the first one we're going to be looking at so this is again what is what needs decluttering and what is hidden and needs to come out and now we're going to look at what brings you joy so what positive good thing brings you happiness brings you joy during the spring that you need to be focusing on to use your hours with let's have a look and see what brings joy to you oh my gosh here I'm talking about all the positives and we get the dreaded 
tower card but you know what I, i'm going to embrace it i'm going to accept it because as much as the tower whenever the tower comes up in a, in a tarot reading whenever the tower shows itself it's never really a positive thing the tower is about you know your whole world come crumbling your whole world crashing down but it's not about the disaster it's not about the falling down it's about the rebuild and this is what needs to bring you joy okay so yes winter has been tough <laughs> winter has not been fun winter has been if i look at this card in particular winter has been really really challenging for you what brings you joy is recognizing that the hardship is behind you the trouble the difficulty the competition the the destruction all of that is behind you and now it's time to focus on the rebuild don't focus on the tragedy don't focus on the hardship don't focus on the bad don't focus on the difficult it's actually time now to start focusing on the rebuild it's the focusing on the making things better and what i am going to say to you with the tower card we never rebuild in the same way it was because it didn't work in the past okay there was a problem and that's why we had the crumble that's why we had the the tower collapse so now when you do rebuild it's about being a little bit more strategic using your hours not spending too much time planning let's actually start assembling let's actually start doing it but let's make it better let's improve on how things were before and that is what's going to bring you joy this is not going to bring you joy and neither is this okay this is something that you need to do you need to start getting busy get active get proactive in the rebuild and don't just focus on the stuff let's look at the big picture let's look at everything and let's focus on the rebuild and let's get excited about that because that is the one thing that's going to bring you happiness that's going to bring you joy and that's going to make life worthwhile for you during this season of spring so that's what's going to bring you joy and now we're going to have a look at what needs nurturing so within your soul within your heart within your being we understand it's been difficult we understand it hasn't been easy but what needs nurturing in your life? Let's have a look. What needs nurturing? We have another major arcana card, and it is the major arcana card of the moon. And the moon is about facing your deepest, darkest fears. The moon is about trusting and believing that everything's going to be okay. The moon is the card where we connect internally. We believe in ourselves. We believe in who we are, what we stand for. But it's also about recognizing that sometimes we have to go the journey. We have to go the distance, that we have to face our fears and put the effort and put the work in in order to to get to wherever we want to be but we have to trust that as that moon glows and as that moon shines not everything is as it appears but it's about trusting your intuition as you go through this and this is what needs nurturing you've got to start nurturing yourself you've got to start nurturing nurturing your own understanding your own belief and your own just i want to say your own self-confidence is what needs nurturing it's been tough. It's been hard. It's been difficult. We get that. Absolutely. But that is in the past. It's time to use the hours and not just count them. And it's time to stop putting one foot in front of the other through the rebuild, the recreation, so that you can get to where you need to be when the summer comes. So this is actually quite a deep one. I thought we were going to have lighthearted and fun, but apparently this message for each one of you is, is quite a deep one. But I do think it's relevant. I do think it's appropriate. And I do think it's something that you absolutely need to hear. We have one card left, and this is from the Sacred Forest Oracle. Let's have a look and see what message we get to contribute to all of this. If I can pick it up. Ah. Oh, you see, you see, you see. <laughs> we have got foggy bog. I like that foggy bog. And its keyword is patience. It is card 18. And we have basically, we can't always see. And I think that talks to this devil in the tower. All right. We are standing in the water. We can't see. There's too much fog around us. There's too much foggy bog. We can't necessarily see where we're going. And that's where this moon card comes in. Because by the moonlight, our vision is obscured. Things aren't always as they seem. But you've got to trust. There's that, that trust coming through again. Instead of waiting for the fog to lift, instead of waiting for, for everything to suddenly clear up, it's about using the hours and not counting them. It's about making the changes. The activity of rebuild even though you can't necessarily see the patience that comes in here i do think is patience of the self with the self for the self 
Be patient with yourself. Don't only focus on the challenges, the problems, and the complications. It's time to get busy. It's time to do the things that you need to do. But I do think you need to be patient with yourself, patient with your circumstances, and patience with everything. But don't wait for the fog to lift. It's time to start working, even though you can't see. But trust that the universe has your back, that the angels, your guides, everybody has your back and is taking care of you. But you have to do the work. You have to put the effort in. You have to do whatever is needed to clear, to lift, and to re build and this is the season this is it this is the opportunity that's in front of you now is the opportunity to rebuild your life so are you going to grab that with both hands are you going to fight through the fog and and overcome those challenges or are you going to be fixated and focused on all the things that are not working in your life it's your choice and the outcome is up to you so are you going to use the hours or are you going to sit and count them and uh, hope wait for the fog to lift and hope that things clear up i hope that you use the hours and not just count them so friends i hope you enjoyed <laughs> your inspiration and your guidance and i do hope that this motivates you to do the things that need doing in your life to improve your life don't worry if it seems impossible because that's what this moon is even if it seems impossible even if it seems so unlikely don't let the foggy bog hold you back Stay, move forward with confidence with courageous bravery with all of those things and know that spirit have got your back it's going to be all right Alrighty, so love and blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, take care. Hello and welcome to those of you who chose bundle two as the bundle that has the reading, the message, the guidance and the inspiration that you need in your life today. So we are doing spring cleaning, energetic spring cleaning. And as you can see, I have shuffled and laid out some cards and we are working with some amazing decks today. As always, I always work with amazing decks. <laughs> so today we are working with um, the Secret Garden Oracle. We're going to start with that one first because that's going to give you the energy of the theme and the energy of spring for you and then we're going to go into some tarot and we're going to end off with another oracle card over here so spring cleaning you know we we're going into spring now in the southern hemisphere so it, it's a time when we need to do some cleaning out and some decluttering and so on so i'm really hoping that this is going to be an awesome reading for you let's start with the energy for spring so this is coming from the secret garden oracle and let's see what is your theme for this reading what is your theme for the for the season of spring you've got wallflower and it says look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out so wallflower means that you know it doesn't matter how much how impossible things seem it doesn't matter how thick your concrete is it doesn't matter how difficult things are you can always you will and you can always find a way out i think that's actually quite awesome what that card also uh, confirms is that winter or the dark period the dark months that we've just come out of have been really really hard for you okay and it hasn't been easy it's been difficult but instead of giving up instead of just saying oh well that's it i'm i'm in a wall i'm in a concrete wall and i can't grow i can't blossom i can't flower i'm just going to give up instead of doing that it's about finding the tiniest teeniest little crack and if you can do that and you find that little crack you will find a way to really reach your full potential because that's what a flower does it finds that tiny little crack and it starts growing through it until it's wiggled its way out and then it can reach its full potential regardless so lotus flower is something that comes to mind you know its seed starts in the mud and it has to really struggle through the mud through the water and only when it comes out the top does it really show its true beauty and this is clearly the theme for you spring what is the energy of spring? What is the energy of the next coming months? It's about finding a way through the darkness, finding a way out of the difficulty, out of the struggles, out of the complications, so that you can blossom into your full potential. I think that's quite awesome. I'm quite excited to see what the rest of the reading has in store for you. So 
The next card we're going to look at is we're going into tarot, and I am working with the Meraki tarot. It's a beautiful deck, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it as much as I do. The first question we're asking is, what needs decluttering? So it is spring, and when we do spring cleaning, the first thing we have to do is a complete declutter. So what in your life at the moment, what aspect, what area of your life at the moment needs decluttering? Let's have a look and see what we get. Knight of Cups. Oh, that is interesting. So remember, we're going to bring whatever we get here, we're going to bring back into the crack in the concrete and finding your way out to blossom. So the Knight of Cups is the card of, I'm going to call it um, extravagance with emotions, big shows of affection, big shows of emotion. It's about taking those leaps forward with regards to showing love and affection for somebody else. It's about recognizing that love, life is always better when shared with somebody else. Night energy is very active. It's very forward moving. It's very, uh, um, very expressive. And especially when it comes to the Knight of Cups, it's about being incredibly expressive with your emotions. Now, this question was what needs decluttering? In other words, what needs to be cleaned up a little bit? What needs to be simplified a little bit? And I think this is telling you that on an emotional level, with your connections and relationships with yourself and with others, that maybe you've been doing too much, that maybe you've been putting in too much energy, too much effort, too much of something. And this is Spirit saying to you to declutter this. In other words, to be a little bit more appropriate. Don't give your energy away unnecessarily. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of this theme card that we've drawn here that's telling you about you are the wallflower. And the only way that you're going to succeed, the only way that you're going to find happiness and blossom to your full potential is to look for that crack and to work through it. If you keep throwing good energy after bad, you may not actually achieve. So what needs decluttering? I think it's basically saying to you, instead of always giving love and affection and positive energy to things, it's about being selective. Let's be selective with where we are putting our energy, because sometimes we are throwing all our good energy in the wrong areas and therefore neglecting other areas that maybe need a bit of attention. So that is very, very interesting indeed. Card two. So card two is now going to tell us what is hidden in your life. What are you not aware of? What is lying beneath the surface that needs to come out? So this is what needs to be decluttered. This is something that needs to be simplified and tidied up a little bit. And this is something that's hidden beneath the surface that needs to come out. Let's have a look and see what yeah, you see. <laughs> you see. <laughs> Three of Swords. Three of Swords is the card of heartbreak. It's the card of disappointment. It's the card of just, you know, heartache and pain and discomfort. So, and this is something that's beneath the surface. This is something that's hidden and it needs to come out. And the only way that this can come out is if we stop covering everything with sunshine and roses. You know, we, we do this, don't we? Just to protect ourselves from pain. I mean, let's be honest, we don't want pain. We don't want to feel discomfort. We don't want to feel any kind of negative. So we, we tend to bury this. We tend to hide this. And we hide it with throwing love and positive attention. So there is something. There is a concrete wall in your way at the moment, okay? And as we go from winter to spring, as we change seasons, as we start shedding light on your life, this is something that really needs your attention. You have been pretending that this concrete wall doesn't exist. You have been pretending that everything is fabulous because that's what Knight of Cups is saying. We need to do less of this. We need to declutter this a little bit. We need to recognize that we don't need so much of this. We shouldn't have to put so much energy into it. And we have to acknowledge the pain, the suffering, the heartache that you are experiencing because this is lying beneath the surface. This is what is hidden and it needs to come out. Now, before I go any further, I have to say that this doesn't, what I'm saying here, okay, everything that's coming through in this reading doesn't necessarily refer to romantic relationships, okay? So don't think that everything that Spirit is saying to you now is telling you that you're putting too much love and attention into your romantic relationships and it's not working for you. That's not what we're saying at all. There is something 
It could be work, it could be finances, it could be family, it could be romantic, it could be anything. It'll be different for every single one of you that's listening to this reading right now, okay? You've got to identify what your concrete wall is. You have to identify that. We cannot tell you what that is. It will be different for each one of you. Once you've identified what your concrete wall is, this will all make sense to you, okay? You have to identify your concrete wall. And, and I think it is like really, really important that you do because you need to, to be happy. You need to be successful. You deserve to be happy and successful. And you can't if you keep hiding the pain, the discomfort, the heartache, the disappointment, the anger even, okay? You have to find a way out. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to come and chip away at your concrete wall. You have to do that for yourself. And you need to be honest with yourself. Be true to yourself. This is why we have to declutter this energy that we're giving all the time, this emotional energy that you're giving all the time that is masking and hiding your pain. So those of you who've been following my work for a while, you will know that I'm all about the happy. You will know that I'm all about the, the positive energy and the inspiration and all of that. So we've identified here two Let's call them fairly heavy cards, okay? Um, they're not painting a fabulous picture. Even, even let's include that one. So now we're going to move on to the positive. So we've identified the challenge. Now let's look at the solution. I always, and it's about the balance, two hard, tough cards, two positive, happy cards. So we've got a balance coming through. So what we're going to look at now with our next card is what brings joy to your life, okay? So we've looked at the problem. Now let's look at what brings joy. What brings happiness and joy to your life? We have the beautiful High Priestess card. So High Priestess is a major arcana card. Um, and, and that is the key there, is that, that knowing, that all-knowing eye. It's about opposites. We have got the yin and the yang. We have got the dark and the light. We have got polar opposites. But what we have in the middle of that is trust and understanding. So what brings you joy is when everything is in perfect order. What brings you joy is when there is an equal amount of give and take, because yin and yang, give and take, yes and no, polar opposites. And the high priestess is about just having that knowledge, that knowing, that understanding within your soul that it's going to be okay. And I do think you know that, all right? Because you are looking for the crack in the concrete. You are looking for that way to bring so that you can blossom. And it's not about somebody else. It's about you. It's about you. You want to be happy. You want to blossom. So what brings joy is when everything is, is in divine order in your life. And the only way that it's going to get that way is if we resolve, identify, and repair this and find that crack in the concrete so that we can blossom and become all that we need to, all that we are, and all that we deserve. So what brings joy is believing in yourself, trusting in yourself, recognizing your own need, want, needs, wants, and desires, and finding that yin and yang balance between it all. Okay, love that. And our next tarot card is what needs nurturing in your life. So we've identified the challenge. We know what you're looking for. We know what you want. What needs nurturing in order to achieve all of this? Let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, <laughs> getting very interesting. So we've got the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is the card of recognizing where you're putting your energy and recognizing that it's not working for you anymore. So I do think going back to looking for the crack in the concrete, I think this is Spirit saying to you that maybe the crack that you're focusing on is not the right one. It's it's that particular crack is heading more inwards and we need to find a different direction or a looking in a different place because that's what the eight of cups is it's about taking stock and that's what uh, um spring cleaning is about it's about taking stock it's about paying looking honestly and truthfully at your situation at your circumstance and saying all right this isn't working for me i want more better healthier more more positive more successful whatever it is and having the courage and the confidence to actually start looking in another location looking elsewhere. So Eight of Cups is about recognizing your current situation and giving yourself permission to move on. All right. Moving on doesn't mean abandoning. 
doesn't mean stopping, doesn't mean ending, doesn't mean stopping. What it means is taking back your power. And that's what the high priestess is about. Taking back your power, taking back your authority, taking back your inner strength, courage and conviction and saying, I want something else. And I think that's exactly what we are saying here. Okay, so for those of you who have chosen this bundle, this is like really, really deep stuff. Bundle one was deep too. I was really thinking we were going to spring clean. It was going to be fun and lighthearted, but apparently not. And I get it because, you know, in again, in all my consults that I've had over the last couple of weeks, one thing that has been incredibly clear to me is how much, how much we're all struggling. We are. And the only way that we can change that, the only way that we can fix it, the only way that we can make things better is by looking honestly at our situation, looking at ourselves a little bit more gently, kinder, and just being more open to the fact that we deserve to be happy. We deserve to be loved. We deserve all of that. And we have to take control. We have to find the crack in the concrete. Nobody else is going to do it for you. And you have to allow yourself, give yourself permission to move beyond the hurt, the pain, the suffering. Mm, very, very interesting. We have an oracle card still to look at. And this is coming from the Sacred Forest Oracle. And let's just see what message it wants to give to contribute to everything that we've said here today. If I pick the card up. How fabulous is that? I actually don't know if you're going to see it. Let me pick it up. Spirit guardian of spring and the keyword is activation. So spring cleaning is our theme and that's exactly the card. We have got a maypole and I know our spring is not in May. We are southern hemisphere. But let's just pretend that this is a September pole and not a maypole. But it is about taking your wishes and activating them and, and winding them around the maypole so that we activate and ensure our happiness and our success. And again, this card, it's an active, it's an active energy. You know, the our wishes and our dreams and our intentions and everything are not going to wind themselves around the maypole automatically. That is something that we have to do, something that you have to do on your own. You can connect with like-minded, with friends and family, that each person put their wishes, their hopes and their dreams into the maypole. But it is, Spirit Guardian of Spring is with you right here and right now telling you that you can do this. Let's change our focus from hiding what we're unhappy about, from hiding our insecurities to being honest, upfront, pure in what we are, who we are and what we want. And let's make the actions to find the cracks so that we can find our way out of the darkness, of the chaos, of the heartache, of the pain, of the suffering, instead of pretending that everything's okay. And so that we can blossom and bloom into our full potential, because that is exactly what is important. It is actually the only thing that is important, is that you blossom into all that you are and all that you can be. So friends, I know this is a, a heavy one again. Um, I, I would apologize, but actually I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry that I've had to be the one giving you this message, because I do know that there's truth in it. There's truth in it for you, and there's truth in it for me. I do hope that uh, it speaks to your heart and soul and that you can resonate and understand the message as it is intended for you. As always, with love and blessings, from my heart to yours, until we connect again. Take care. And welcome to those of you who have chosen bundle three as the bundle that has the reading, the message, the guidance, and the inspiration that you need in your life right now. Welcome. So we are doing spring cleaning. And as you can see, I have shuffled and laid out the cards that we're going to be working with. We have got two oracle cards and we have got a couple of tarot working with such awesome, awesome decks today. And bundle one and bundle two have had been really amazing readings, deep reading so um yeah can't wait to see what bundle three has in store for you so i have got a couple of questions written out from spirit we are doing energetic spring cleaning as we go into the season of spring in the southern hemisphere we are going to start off with this oracle card over here which is from the secret garden oracle and what we're looking at here is the theme for this reading but also the energy of spring 
So this season of spring that we're going into, what is the energy? What is it that you need to be focusing on? What is the theme coming up for you? So let's have a look and see from the Secret Ar secret Garden Oracle, what does spring have in store for you? How beautiful. We have got beauty and it tells you dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. And of course, we have the gorgeous butterfly image in the corner here. So beauty, dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. I love that. So that is a really lovely theme for our reading and for you, for the, the season of spring as we're going into it. I love how it says dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. And I think I'm going to, I encouraged the bundle one, but I'm going to encourage you guys as well. Write it down. Dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. Keep that, keep that everywhere. Keep Put it on your phone. Put it on your car. Put it in your bedroom. Wherever it is that you need to be reading that as often as possible because clearly this is something that we all need to be working on and especially you who have chosen this bundle. Something that you need to be working on throughout the season of spring. We're going to go into the tarot now. And this is the Meraki tarot. It's a new tarot deck that I've got. It is beautiful, beautiful. And such a perfect deck to work through in this month, of, well, in a season of spring. So we have our theme. We have the kind of overall energy that, that this reading is going to have for you. What we're going to look at now in this card over here is what needs decluttering in your life. So we are doing an energetic spring clean. And spring clean means getting down and dirty, getting to the the bottom of the the drawers and the back of the cupboards and everything and see what is it that needs decluttering in your life now so let's have a look and see for you what do we have what needs decluttering we've got a major arcana card and it is the major arcana card of the star okay so the star is the card of hope it's the card of inspiration it's the card of actually it's like the card of me who and what i am inspiring motivating and offering healing okay so this is what needs decluttering because maybe you've lost your way a little bit maybe you've lost your guidance and your confidence in yourself and i'm saying that because of what we've got over here so beauty is not just on the outside beauty is not just about how pretty you are or how attractive you are or how good looking you are or how, what, what kind of shape your body is in it's not about external beauty where it says dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable is referring to your inner beauty to what's going on on the inside and i do think this is saying to you that you've lost that a little bit maybe you've be maybe you've become because of the the times that we're in because of the challenges that you faced because of the situations and the circumstances around your life maybe you've lost your way a little bit maybe you've become a little bit too critical self-critical a little bit too hard on yourself and the star here in what needs decluttering it's telling you to get rid of the fog to get rid of the clouds to get rid of everything that's blocking your view of the stars we need to have that we need to have purpose we need to have direction most importantly you need to have hope and this is what needs decluttering we need to declutter everything around you so that hope shines through so that these stars illuminate shed light and give you hope okay that is what needs decluttering so that we can have as much hope as necessary on to our next one so that's what needs decluttering in your life and now we're saying what's hidden what what's hidden beneath the surface what are we maybe not aware of that needs to come out that needs to come to to the forefront so what is hidden and needs to come out in your life at the moment and renee can't pick up the cards <laughs> we have got seven of pentacles beautiful so let me just describe what we're seeing in the card so first of all we have a, a nature scene because this is a nature-based deck we have got two little nests bird nests and instead of eggs they've got crystals okay seven of pentacles is about being patient and about waiting waiting for your crystals to develop waiting for your eggs to mature and for your baby chicks to hatch out it's about having the patience knowing that you've done the work knowing that you've prepared you've done everything you need to and about waiting for things to mature waiting for things to happen so this is something that needs to that needs to come to the fore and it's patience really that's what it is so what is hidden in your life and needs to come out is the patience because maybe you've given up and i do think that looking at that message and looking at the two that we've got here the message that's coming through as clear as day is that maybe we're a little bit fed up, we're a little bit frustrated, we're a little bit angry even at ourselves and at the universe and at circumstances at life. And 
we've lost our our sense of of perfection we've lost our sense of hope our loss uh, we've lost our sense of of beauty and we're we've given up hope that things will ever be better and this is spirit saying to you no don't give up hope don't ever lose hope or give up hope that things that there will be better days because there will but you do have to dig deep and find your patience you do have to dig deep and find your will your your daring strong vulnerable tenderness find your will to be patient and to see hope beauty happiness joy in life because it is going to be there for you it may not be today because that's what's coming through here is that it may not be today we may not have this better life happier life we may not have all our wishes and dreams fulfilled today we may not see the beauty today there may still be clouds but we are going to work on clearing this finding the patience finding the stamina finding the perseverance Dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. We are going to dig deep to find that so that we can wait until the stars are visible, until everything has revealed itself and everything is clear so that we can find our true happiness and our beauty in all things, not just on the outside. So I do think that's quite an important, important message. Now, if you've been following my readings for a while, if you've been watching my content for a while, you will know how forever optimistic I am. <laughs> I believe in finding positives. I believe in not just focusing on the challenges, but focusing on the possible, potential, beautiful outcomes that are there for us. So we have got four tarot cards, two cards that are identifying the problem and two cards that are going to give us happiness, hope and positivity for the future. So we've identified what needs decluttering. We've identified that we need to dig deep to find our patience. Now we're going to have a look at what brings you joy. You may not know this. This may be something completely new to you. This may be something completely surprising to you. But we're going to ask what brings you joy? What brings you a sense of happiness and a sense of joy in your life at the moment? And we have another major arcana card, and it is the card of the Wheel of Fortune. And this is telling you that when things work, <laughs> when circumstances, situations, opportunities, when everything works as it needs to, that brings you joy. That brings you a sense of happiness, a sense of accomplishment, a sense of satisfaction. When there's chaos and clouds and heartache and discomfort and all of those kind of things, we, we don't have a sense of joy. This sense of joy comes through when everything just fits and works as it should. And you know what? This is not telling you that you don't have this. This is just telling you that you don't necessarily need a huge positive reward at the end of the day. What you need is for things just to work the way that they need to. And that is where you find your joy. This is what brings you joy. So instead of focusing on the end goal, instead of focusing on the big picture, when things work Take joy from that. Take happiness from that. Take a sense of, of fulfillment and accomplishment from that. Instead of waiting to see what hatches, your patience will pay off and things will work out for you. But your sense of joy comes from things behaving, working as they need to. I actually think that's quite fabulous. All right. So that's where your joy comes from. Now we're going to have a look at what needs nurturing in your life so we understand the challenge we understand the problem we understand what brings us joy but in order for us to get there in order for us to have the joy what needs nurturing in your life right now so let's have a look and see page of swords I love the Page of Swords. <laughs> page of Swords to me. Okay, so Page Energy is, is young, it's creative, it's ambitious. It's all of those fabulous energies. And Page of Swords is about the mind, it's about the thinking, it's about the intellect. So we've got a hot, a hot air balloon, which is clearly moving in the wind. We have all the birds, we have, you can see, wind energy there. But then look what's happening. Coming out of the hot air balloon are all these pages. And there's writing on it. Actually, I think I want to pick it up and bring it closer to show you. And you see these pages. And so not pages as in page energy, but literally information, documents. You can see there's writing on the documents, okay? And that's what I want to focus on here for you. Oh, I think I broke the camera. Hold a second. Let's fix the camera. Right, camera focus there. Camera focus there. No.
I fixed the camera. <laughs> so Page of Swords for me is always the card that talks about learning, about gaining knowledge, gaining inspiration, gaining understanding of the situation. And this is what needs nurturing. So let's look at all of these four together. What needs decluttering in your life? The fact that you've lost hope. What is hidden and needs to come out? Patience and almost seeing something through to the end. What brings you joy? When things work as they should. When everything comes together. When you see all your hard work and all your efforts sort of click into place. That is what brings you joy. And what needs nurturing is learning these lessons. Because this is exactly what the Page of Swords is. Page of Swords is about learning. It's about gaining that understanding, gaining that information. But it's more about textbook learning. And that's why we've got all of these literally pieces of paper coming out of the hot air balloon. And it's saying grab all of that. Grab all the information. Grab all the knowledge. Grab all the inspiration. And dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable, recognizing that you might not have all the information. You might not have all the answers. You might not know everything. But nurture yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Be patient. Be kind. Hold on to hope. And know that as we go through the spring season, as we go from winter and we start shedding light on our future, shedding light on our current situation, don't be so hard on yourself. And almost admit to yourself that maybe you don't know everything. Maybe you don't have all the answers. But your patience will certainly be rewarded and you will see the beauty in life. You will achieve everything that you've aimed for and everything that you want and you will have the happiness that you're looking for. I think this is fabulous. We've got one card left. This is an oracle card from the Sacred Forest Oracle and it's going to just tie in this reading, tie in this message and let's see what we've got. Dragonfly Spirit, which is all about change. I think that's fabulous and it's interesting how these colors almost blend in with the colors that we've got going here already so dragonfly spirit with the key word of change is basically saying to you learn from your past know that things will fall into place just be patient with yourself and hold on to hope and if you do that while daring to be tender and strongly vulnerable don't think of vulnerability as a weakness think of vulnerability as a strength Think of vulnerability that we have to. Our wings are so vulnerable, are so fragile, but that is where our strength is. That's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us moving forward. And there's beauty in all of that. And if you can do that, friends, spring is going to be fabulous. It's going to help you become the person you need to be, the person you deserve to be, happy and content and everything fitting into place. So don't see your tenderness and your vulnerability as a weakness. See it as a strength. Hold on to hope and know that things are going to turn. Things are going to be okay, but you have to be patient. So at this stage, you don't necessarily have to do anything except learn from your past and recognize when the opportunities are right in front of you. All right. I love this one. I think this is such an awesome message, such an awesome reading, and I do hope it makes sense to you. I do hope that you can connect this with a situation, a circumstance, or something in your life, and that this gives you what you need to persist, to stay strong, to stay vulnerable, but to see something through to the end, and to see how it all just clicks into place, and let that bring you joy, let that bring you happiness, and let that bring you knowledge and inspiration that you need in your life right now. So friends, with love and blessings, from my heart to yours, until we connect again, take care.